Hi there, boys and girls. The Apostle Paul is joining us for handwriting today because we're going to be writing down one of our memory verses. Oh, this is wonderful, Mrs. Neve. I love God's word. In fact, I had the privilege of being able to write some of it down. Oh, Paul, that is so cool. Yes, uh, many of the books in the New Testament, uh, God told me what to say, and I wrote the words down. Really, for instance, tell us about one of them. Well, you remember uh, in our Bible lesson today, how you learned about what happened to Silas and I in Philippi. Oh, right, getting in jail and the earthquake and everything. That's it. Well, later on, I wrote a letter to that church. It's in your Bible, and it's called the letter to the Philippians. Of course, Philippi, Philippians. Yeah, it's kind of like we say America and Americans. That's right, Mrs. Neve. That was a letter that I wrote to the church, encouraging them in their walk with God. Of course, God told me the words to say. That is so cool. Uh, well, Paul, our, the verse we're working on is the end verse. I've got it up here. <laughs> Bean boys, what are you up to this time? Beans. Hmm, I like beans. I do too. <laughs> and these guys get a little goofy. You're all over on one side today, fellas. What's the deal? <laughs> I'm still giggling. Oh, I get it. There's zero beans on this side. And, well, if it's the nine equations family, there's got to be nine beans there, right, Mrs. Neve? I'm thinking nine beans over there. Yeah, let's count just to be sure. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Yes, nine beans. So the equation, Mrs. Neve? Yes. Let's write it down. Zero plus nine equals nine. There we go. And there's your flashcard. Zero plus nine equals nine. And you know the plus zero rule. That's not going to change the other number. And of course, the twin is true too. Let's grab that one. Nine plus zero equals nine. Very good. Let me get those cards back up in the right order. Okay, excellent. Well, Paul, do you like numbers too? Oh, yes. I find numbers very interesting. Uh, you, you know, you have to know about numbers for just about everything. That's true. Uh, so what about this end verse, Mrs. Neve? Oh, yes. Our end Bible verse is right here. You remember it, boys and girls. Let's read it together. No one can serve two masters. Oh, yes, that's something that Jesus said. It's true. When one of the times when he was teaching the people, he said this verse, no one can serve two masters. And he was talking about, you can't serve both God and money. That's right. You'll either love the one and hate the other or hate the one and love the other. You've got to choose. Is it going to be God or is it going to be money? I choose God. Excellent choice. Boys and girls, yeah, choose God. Definitely. He's going to provide all the money we need. We don't have to worry about the money. He knows what we need. In fact, when he was uh, telling the people this verse, he get exact, talked to, about that exactly, that he, God knows what we need. He will provide it. I like this verse, Mrs. Neve. I do too. Now, this verse is in your binder. So it's not a paper in your packet. You'll need to look through your binder and find the end verse. Now, because I don't have any of your binders here, I'm sorry, I can't find exactly where it's put in your binder this year. You're just going to have to kind of flip through and find it. But you'll find it, and it will look like this. Get that a little closer for you. And um, it's got the verse up there, which I have put up here on the whiteboard. So after you find that verse and you got your pencil, because remember, use Mr. Pencil, in case we have to use Mr. Eraser, you'll be ready to trace the end verse. Um, of course, first, they do have some ends just for you to trace and then copy some end sets, sets since it is the end verse. So go ahead and make your uppercase N line down, jump back up, down, and up, and then your lowercase N, and then three sets on the line, please. There's one, two, and 
One of the things I still see once in a while, be careful when you make your uppercase N. You want to make sure this second line that goes down is going to slant down to the right. I still see it once in a while where the kids, I think they come down and then they just go back up and then down and you can see your N is backward. Uh, backwards. So you have to make sure when you break this line come down, you jump up and then slant the line down the other way. Let's fix that. Thankfully, I can use my Mr. Eraser here. If you saw something like this with your pencil, you could use Mr. Eraser. Okay, so there's my N. I jump up, I go down this way, and straight up. There we go. Lowercase n, the main thing to watch out for is don't make it look like an H. Don't have your line come up too high, and people think it's an H. So let's fix that. You've got a couple of lines of N's to do. Oh, I just thought of something else to watch out for. Once in a while, I see kids do this for their N. They just do a hill. And then sometimes they stick a line on the top like that. That doesn't look right either. Make sure your line comes down first, trace up, and make your hill, and it will give you a beautiful N. Alrighty, after you've done your N's, and remember, we want to do quality work here. When you work hard and do your best, you're honoring the Lord, even in you know, something like handwriting. Whatever you do, do it to serve Him. Um, after you do your N sets, keep Mr. Pencil moving, not too fast, not too slow, just right make it look good. Then you've got your end verse to trace and then to copy. So I'm going to go ahead and trace. There's my end. I'm jumping up. It's uppercase because it's the line leader in the sentence. No. Bing, bing, sight word, right? No. Now, on our Bible uh, sign that we learn from, our end verse, it does say no one, which is a number word, right? One, Spoiler alert, it is going to be on a spelling test soon. Um, on our Bible handwriting page, it doesn't say one. It says something that really means the same thing. It says no. Go ahead and read it. Man, no man can serve two masters. And it means the same thing as no one, no man. So. No man can serve, and here ER is making your ER sound. Now you'll notice there's a blank line before you go down to the two masters. You know how this works. On this blank line here, you're going to copy the no man can serve. So go ahead and copy that down. No, leave a space man, space, can, space, serve, and then you get down here to two, number word two, bing bing, sight word, going to be a spelling word soon, remember it has a W in the middle, two, masters, and then there's your period. On the line below it, you're going to copy two masters. Whoops. Two. Leave a space. Masters. Excellent. All righty. So, boys and girls, after you do your end page, if you want to do a little picture down at the bottom of your page like we do, feel free. Um, have it to have something to do with the end verse, though. Something about serving God and not serving money. Yeah, we don't want to make money an idol. Well, I know you'll do a wonderful job. Right, Paul? Absolutely. Boys and girls, thanks for letting me visit your classroom this week. And I'll be back next week, too. Right, Mrs. Neve? Right. Next week, we're going to be learning more about some of Paul's adventures. The life God has for us is an exciting life. So put God first, and remember, God loves you, and he has a plan. See you later.